Are you tired of going on your favorite Minecraft server to play Crystal PvP and your game looks like absolute shit not being able to see because of how big the explosions are and how big the fire is so you end up dying and rage quitting? But it's okay, just press respawn because I'm going to get your game from looking like absolute garbage to looking like the peak of Crystal PvP gameplay. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to search up Fabric Installer. You're going to want to click on the first option, I'll leave a link in the description, and you're going to want to click download for Windows and just save it to your computer. Once it's saved, make sure to launch it up. And you want to select Minecraft version 1.20.6, the newest Minecraft version. Then you want to click on Loader version and find 16. Then what you want to do is you want to copy the launcher location because we're going to need it for later. Then just press install and you install fabric to Minecraft. So the next thing you just want to do is you want to install my mod pack by using the link in the description. If it brings it to a page where it says the file is too big, just click download anyway to install it. To make it easier, just extract it to your desktop. So once it's extracted, open up a new file explorer by right clicking on your file explorer. Then you you want to paste in the file location that we copied earlier and this is going to bring you to your dot minecraft folder so all you want to do now is select your mods folder and delete it and then select your config folder and delete it as well so once they're deleted all you have to do is drag the mods and config folder from my mod pack into your dot minecraft folder what this does is it installs all my mods and it also gives you my config so you don't have to set up the mods and the final step is to open up your resource pack folder then you want to open up my resource packs folder and just drag all of the resource packs inside of mine into your dot minecraft folder that way you still keep your old resource packs but you also get my additional resource nice packs. so right off the bat you should notice that minecraft looks a lot different now and what you could do before launching up a server is to turn off replay mod by clicking on the top right so once you join the server right away you're going to see a bunch of changes you're going to see that the game looks much more vibrant and clean and also that in the top left you get your ui where it tells you your fps your name and the server you're on and if you press I, you can actually see your entire inventory. So the game looks great, but we haven't even added the resource pack. So you want to head over to your resource packs and add it in this order. So if we head back to the hub here in the server, you can notice that all the players that have a tier for Crystal PvP have the tier right next to their name. So I'm going to just jump in a fight so you can see what changes are made. If you can notice, when I pop a totem, it's actually small and doesn't cover my entire screen. Also, crystals don't make a big explosion with a bunch of dust, and everything is just much more visible. Also, with this pack, you do get an updated Marlowe's Optimizer for 1.20.6, which is basically just Marlowe's Optimizer, but for later versions. Another thing is that when you use your shield, it does change color when it's activated and if you can see right next to their name is a number and that number is how many times I pop the player moving on to controls a lot of these mods have their own keybinds which may interfere with your own crystal keybinds so all you have to do is just disable a lot of them and i'm gonna just give you my personal ones that i disable disable all of iris's keybinds all you gotta do is click on it and click escape to unbind it and the same thing for essential just unbind all of it because you don't really need it unless you want to actually bind it to something feel free and then all the other keybinds like replay mod don't touch replay mod it doesn't affect you in game and some of the other mods may affect you so just change the keybinds to your preference depending on your crystal binds with these optimizations you'll lag a lot less the game will feel really smooth and you'll also crystal much faster with marlo's optimizer one of the mods allows you to see clearly in the dark to do that you can just press h to deactivate and activate night vision another feature is the hurt cam if you press f8 you can turn off your hurt cam and if you press f8 again you can turn it on so your camera shakes when you crystal and I'm just going to show you guys some gameplay with these optimized settings. And I'm not the best player, but hopefully it gives you an idea of what the game could look like with my new settings. Well, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoy my mod pack. And if this tutorial helped you, maybe leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, see ya.